and you're here and he feels you release and capture this wrist, he's going to know something's coming in there. There's some kind of, some kind of action is going to happen off of this here, right? So I've seen guys wrestle to this wrist, right? So I got, I got the front head, my hands on the chin. If you feel this happening, there's going to be something, there's going to be something happening. All right? So you can go here, catch the wrist, right? And I think the purpose is this is like a bailout. I think if you have this wrist and you try to whip underneath here like this, right? If the guy kind of kept you there, you can re you're controlling an arm so you can't look that close. I think that's why you do that. Um, I, I, I'm okay at it. I'm not amazing with this move, but I can do it to both sides. And it's nice to have because if you're pretty good at it, but you don't do it a lot, you can catch people. You can catch really good guys with it. All right. Now, um, one of the best that I've ever seen, and a guy that I, when I was a kid, Mike Mena wrestled for Iowa. He was a four-time Illinois State champ, and I believe he was a four-time All-American. He was a national runner-up. Just said he was a hammer. And he would do this a lot. And one of the little things that I saw a video that he was doing, that he was talking about, was he would get here, and what he would do with his underhook here is he would pull his arm this way. So he would extend, he would extend the arm down, and then your head goes right here. Okay? Now you can see I did that probably like 75% speed, that was pretty fast. Right? And if you can get your hips up on top, you tee out, you're gonna probably pin the guy. Right? Like I said, this isn't, I, I'm not showing you this to be like, make a living off this thing. But it's fun to work on. It can be a really good tool to have in your tool bag because wrestling happens really quick, right? You're boom, boom, you're wrestling, you might fake, snap, catch your front headlock, bounce that guy down, he comes up, boom, you whip through it. If you have the ability to, if you have good, um, what, what am I trying to say, maybe body awareness or explosion, you can develop this move in the series, it can be something good to have. Even if, even if you catch a guy there and bang him down, you're like, hey, elbow's in, watch the roll, no roll, right? Then you can maybe chain wrestle into something else and get a guy there. Okay? So, what we're going to do, we're just going to work on it. Okay, now look, they go together, right? So let's say I'm here and I bounce down, I try to push this and he squirt right here. See how that works? Right? So, so you're... You're putting actions together to get the guy where you want, right? Another thing too that I've noticed when I get in this position, what I try to look for is I really pull guys down. I hang on guys. I pull, I pull down. If the guy's up, let's say he's up, like, like not down the mat yet, and I catch him here, and I try to pull him down. All right, if that knee's up, right? That knee's up. What I try to do is kick that knee to the back. And notice that my head's not up here floating around. My head's right here tight to his body, right? So if I can pull, boom, right now. That knee's on the mat, right? Here's what we do. I'm gonna extend this arm to me. So the hook, the hook is going right here, watch. See that? Tight. And I'm whipping under, fast. Where I finish, out to the side. Okay. So, bottom guy, understand where you're going. Okay. Let your partner hold you. It's not live, but you're not loose. You're not a noodle. All right. You're here. It's kind of pulling in. You see, like this. Okay. Guys, there's a guy, a dude from a. Uh, Lehigh, his last name was Rome. He was, hey, he was getting hammered in the NCAA finals. And he was really good. And the guy that was wrestling had a really good tilt. Not from Oklahoma, Lambrecht, I believe his name was. And he was up by 12 or 13 points. The other, the dude from Oklahoma, and it was third period, there was about a minute left, 
they got him this, he's a, he's an Eastern guy, right? And he did one of the craziest things I've ever seen. He was here, and he actually did the East. He faked him out. He went like this, he went, and then came back this way. And he ended up pinning the guy. It was crazy. I think it's on YouTube, you might find it. I don't know what year it is. It's in, it's 2000 something, but I mean, just a prime example of a, of a guy that, he was down, and you know they knew about it. That dude was probably like, stay out the underneath and you get caught, you trail, whatever, and it just takes one time. I got pinned in one. I got pinned in one. And the guy put me underneath, we were wrestling, a guy got an underhook on me like this, and the guy put me here, he bounced me down. I came up right there and he whipped right through it. Right from this position, right here. Used my reaction against me, right? So I just want you guys to drill it. I just want you to practice it, right? We're in this common position right here. And maybe I can bounce him. And let him punch get here. Oh, he's, he's going right now, boom, right here. Guys, you cannot be all, you can't be like this. You can't hit it from here. Yeah, it's too loose. All right? I have to be tight to this guy. Tight. Tight. My head's not up here. I'm solid tight. Okay? Send it. Whip through. Finish on top. Whip through. Okay? No practice. No practice.